welcome back so i don't think i've done an actual vlog in quite a while so it's really nice to just be sitting here and talking with you guys two days ago i went downtown and that was really nice it started like raining halfway but that was okay because it's always such a fun time just walking around in the city whenever the sun is out or whenever there's good weather so i'm not going to complain but because i haven't vlogged in a while i have accumulated a couple of things that i do want to show you first thing that i got was from this little like asian store i guess and it's supposed to be a little container which i thought was really cute and inside i just keep my little pieces of uh, paper i guess you could say the little art pieces that i got and then ooh, i'm excited because it's been a hot second since i actually painted my nails and actually got like new nail polish so this is the first time i've tried the 3ce nail polishes and to be honest they're pretty amazing i'm not gonna lie it's almost like this burnt sort of orange i guess but they're really nice so if you're looking for new nail polish colors i highly recommend these because they're freaking amazing also in terms of skincare i just recently started using this neogen real fresh foam green tea soothing bio cleanser now i've never really used anything like this before to be honest this is my first time trying like a foaming cleanser and let me tell you it smells amazing even after you wash off the cleanser and everything your face still smells like green tea and i love the smell of green tea so i'm not mad at that but what i love the most about this is the fact that there's just like real green tea leaves floating at the bottom if you're interested in trying any of like the neogen products i would recommend that you check this out and see if it fits into your routine because i personally really like it and then i got another one of the clean it zero um cleansing bombs because i'm almost out of the one that i'm currently using so it's time to get another one i got really into these necklaces because my friends they wear a whole bunch of them and i never really found any that i liked online but then i found these two which i'm personally a huge fan of and these ones i'm gonna pair with just like big oversized t-shirts because that's like a whole look you know silver jewelry is like the only kind of jewelry that i will wear just because i feel like gold doesn't really suit me all that much so i'm really excited to have these because i don't really wear a lot of necklaces so i'm excited to kind of like branch out and try new accessories you know okay wait the last thing that i want to show you guys i am so so excited about it i got a whole bunch of these for mia style and they're sort of like this tropical dad vibe shirts i guess you could say i really don't know how else to describe it so the first one that i got was this blue one with flower detailing and like little palm leaves Dude, I'm in love with this. Let me just say, so soft and breathable. And I also got this dark blue one with cranes on it. I'm personally in love with it. I think it's sick. The next one that I got is the spread one. It's like this bright red with this blue dragon detailing. It's actually pretty big, but I personally like wearing the color red as you can see. So I'm excited to wear this. Dude, I have one more. Where did it go? Ah. Where did the last one go? This one is pretty sick. I feel like you guys will like this one a lot, but it's just a simple white one with a bunch of faces drawn all over it. I'm really excited to wear this. I think I'm gonna wear it to when I meet up with my friend downtown. So I'm excited. Just pairing this up with a little simple white crop top. I think that's adorable. But yeah, I'm excited because it's been a hot second since I've actually purchased clothes and just like getting new clothes in general is always very very exciting what's next on my schedule is i have to do a post for um daniel wellington so i will take you guys through that right now i changed my entire outfit and everything for this post so i'm just wearing this like old dress shirt and then my white crop top from urban which i'm obsessed with and i've been wearing it like all the time this is the look for the instagram post by the time that this video goes up the post will most likely already be up on my Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram already, what are you doing? Go check it out. I will link it down below. What I'm doing right now is just editing the photos, aka really just trying to get rid of like my little flyaway hairs because for some reason i've just been having a lot of little baby hairs that just stick up all over the place and they don't really look that nice in photos obviously so i'm just trying to get rid of that this is the end result this is a photo that i'm about to post I'm trying to take like a second photo of the watch because i feel like the first photo that i'm gonna post in the set doesn't really show off the watch like super clearly and that's one of like the specifications that they wanted so i'm just gonna do like a second photo all right i am not um, a professional photographer at all 
but let's see how this goes. I'm literally just using my phone. I hope you guys know. Put this over here. All right, hell yeah, my post is up. One thing to check off my list today. Now what I wanna do is actually put together like this little care package for my friend Jessie, which you guys have all seen before in my videos. We're gonna be meeting up soon and I haven't seen her in so, so long. I'm just feeling really sentimental about our friendship and I freaking love her and appreciate her so, so much. I'm literally gonna tell her to not watch this video. I'm not even kidding. She always watches every single one of my videos and I'm literally gonna message her before this video goes up to not watch it. But I'll show you guys what I'm gonna give her. So I wanted to give her one of these little blackhead clearing things from Costarex. We're both really, really into skincare, by the way. And I also wanted to give her these Innisfree face masks. So this is a collagen one and this is a green tea one. And then I also have this one from the face shop and this is a hyaluronic acid um, face mask. And then this one from Mediheal. I want to include a couple of these little things so she can hang them up on her wall as well. And then I'm going to write her a little letter and, you know, just decorate it with my sticker. Can we just take a second to appreciate these stickers that I got? Guys, look. Look at these little puppies. I'm so in love with this sticker pack. Okay, so I basically finished writing the letter and I have all the face masks. I still have to find a bag to put all of this in, obviously. I think I might include an additional gift along with all this stuff, but I don't know yet because I don't know if I'll have enough time to. But for now, this is what I have. Look at my eyelash. What the heck? What the heck is that? What in the world? Hello? Hello? Yes, I did change again. Don't mind my hair, please. It's so disgusting. But guess what I have? Yes, is anyone surprised? No. Just finished washing my face and you guys don't need a close up on this mess because like... I have a little pimple patch right here. I don't think you guys can see it. Before I end this vlog, I do want to give you guys my documentary recommendations because it's been a hot second since, you know, I did. So get ready. I'm going to give you guys two recommendations. I feel like you should definitely check these out. Okay, let's go. This is the first one that I recommend, Basketball or Nothing. This is a documentary series that you can find on Netflix, or at least the Canadian Netflix, don't know about the US or where else. But when I first watched this, I freaking bawled my eyes out. And I'm not gonna get too much into it just because I'm, you know, as usual, I'm not good at summarizing anything. But I will leave the little like synopsis or just like summary down below so you guys can check it out and see if you're gonna be interested in it. And then the second one that I watched, okay, I cried more with this documentary than I did with the last one that I just mentioned. This one is called Dear Zachary, A Letter to a Son About His Father. This documentary will change your life. Like, I cannot vouch enough for this. Honestly, this documentary has definitely made, like, my top 10 documentary list. It's amazing. It's crazy. Everything. Like, you will feel all of the emotions. Trust me. So, once again, we'll leave the description of this below. But this one, you can't find on Netflix, unfortunately. So, you're gonna have to stream it elsewhere. But... It's amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this. Haven't vlogged in a while, so it felt really nice. And yeah, so I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.